Hi, and welcome to A Lot On Air. During the next 10 minutes, we'll be meeting with industry experts to discuss the hottest trends in telecom, cybersecurity, and network intelligence. I'm Barry Spielman, Security Product Marketing Director at Alot. Joining us today in the Alot On Air studio is Eduardo Algado, Senior Product Manager at Alot. Eduardo, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. In today's podcast, we're going to put the spotlight on endpoint protection and a lot's endpoint secure. So Eduardo, let's start at the top. Why is it important to provide endpoint protection? Well, endpoint solutions have been with us for a long time. In fact, what we can call the first antivirus, known as Reaper, was created in the 70s to combat the also first known virus that went under the name of Creeper. Well, it goes without saying that the antivirus engine we run today is nothing like Reaper, it's still based on the same principles, and as a concept, antivirus software remains a fundamental part of any security strategy. And rightly so, they are in a privileged position to provide protection and controls functionalities uh, that are simply not uh, viable for from filtering solutions that sit at the network perimeter, starting with uh, traditional ones, such as running a local malware scan on the device and continuing with more modern techniques like geolocation. In general, an antivirus engine can be very feature rich due to the fact that it sits on the device itself and allows to to provide protection and controls even when you move to to a different network, such as, say, the wireless connection of a coffee shop. Okay, so we get that it's important, but service providers have provided endpoint solutions without much success. Why is this the case? Well, it's clear to anyone with IT background that an antivirus engine is a fundamental part As we just said, the challenge is that it requires user interaction. It's something you have to install on the device. That combined with lack of technical skills of most of the consumers, little to no awareness of the numerous security threats that they can get exposed to. And the fact that a standalone endpoint solution is very difficult to promote by service providers in general For the standalone third-party offerings that we see out there, what we can expect really is rates of up to 5% penetration Mm. after significant promotion efforts. Not much. Not much, no. This also applies for SMBs, right? Even though they have slightly more expertise than the regular consumer, the uptake is minimal since at the end of the day, they also seek simplicity and effortless utilization. If we compare that to the 60% penetration that we have seen for our network-based solution, it's clear that offering a standalone antivirus engine will not really deliver the service provider the new revenue stream that they are looking for. On top of that, most of their consumers and SMBs will be left in the same situation of exposure to threats and lack of controls because they will simply never take the service. So it's just one more reason for them to switch to a different service provider. You mentioned there the network-based uh, solution, a lot of network-based solution. Let's talk about that. Why, why is the Alot offering different? I mean, what in, in terms of endpoint security, where's the difference? Mm-hmm. Well, being aware of the challenges that I just mentioned with standalone antivirus solutions, we have built an approach that tackles them from the root. First of all, we have created what we call Alot Secure. Alot Secure is a platform umbrella that provides unified protection and controls with simplicity and ease of use at the core. This applies not only for the subscriber itself, which can be a consumer or an SMB, but also for the service operator that deploys it. In the background, the service operator can just pick and choose the modules that they want to offer, such as network secure and endpoint secure. But from the subscriber perspective, uh, they don't need to know. And in fact, they don't care, by the way, what solution is protecting them. Hmm. The platform is user-centric, 
meaning that all the subscriber knows is that they have to apply a configuration for a user. It can be a kit in the case of the consumer or an employee in the case of an SMB. And a lot secure does all the hard work in the background and enforces it all across the modules available and for all the devices associated to the user in an automated manner, wherever the user is. Then leveraging the network secure module that, as we said, reaches a very high penetration in a very short period of time. The service operator can reach uh, that large customer base very quickly. From there, they can use the promotion capabilities of the module, such as web page redirections, icon insertion, and notifications, allowing them to inform the user about the effectiveness of the service, as well as allowing them to, to very easily promote additional modules, such as endpoint security. On top of that, the installation process is simplified. It's just sending an installation link uh, to the subscriber, which can be integrated into the, um, the service provider customer portal. And once uh, run, once executed by the user uh, and assigned to the user, it automatically inherits and applies the user policies that were already defined for that user such as, for example, threat protection, uh, which includes uh, protection against malicious websites, as well as protection against malicious files you are downloading from the internet. Can also be a set of website categories that should be blocked, uh, such as pornography and social media, and others without doing all the configuration all over again. Also, as mentioned already, simplicity is at the core of the platform. So the Endpoint Secure app just enforces the policies by the account uh, defined by the account owner, which can be the parent in the case of consumer or the SMB admin in the case of SMBs. And these are enforced for the user, which once again can be the kit in the case of consumer or the employee in the case of SMB, without requiring this user to do anything on the device since Endpoint Secure is designed to be an enforcement app not a configuration app. Mm -hmm. Finally, uh, the app can be rebranded, so the service operator can show their logo and texts of choice, uh, creating more awareness uh, for the subscriber that is the service provider offering them the service, which will allow, which will have a, a positive effect uh, on the on the churn rate. Uh, Eduardo, you mentioned before about endpoint secure giving uh, protection from cyber threats. Um, can you go a little bit more into that? And what kind of benefits do you get as a user of Endpoint Secure in terms of cybersecurity? Sure. Uh, so when we thought about our Endpoint Secure solution, there were three main aspects that were extremely critical and crucial for us. First of all, the solution should provide market leading detection. Secondly, platform coverage. We are covering all the typical devices that a, an end user would be having and very low battery impact. And due to that, um, we chose to, to integrate with Bitdefender and use their technology as the engine of Endpoint Secure. By no doubt, they are leaders in the malware detection and technology, and it only takes a, a quick Google search to confirm that. Mm -hmm. They are well respected in all the industry and they heavily invest in cutting edge technology to identify the latest threats. All of these with negligible false positives, which by the way, can be an issue for other engines out there. Our integration allows to, to offer the solution across all the main platforms, which are Android, iOS, Windows, and Mac OS. And on top of that, very important uh, to, to avoid a significant battery impact, uh, which is again uh, an issue for other AV engines uh, and it's a critical aspect for mobile devices, right? And here they, they also exceed expectations, even winning awards due to the low resource utilization on the device. In terms of uh, functionality, I will cover the main ones which are protection against uh, websites and, and threats uh, that you might be downloading from the internet, uh, category-based filtering, 
uh, blocking internet access based on a schedule, which is quite useful for, for those parents that want their kids to, to talk, right, during dinner time. And, um, and geolocation for mobile devices to know where your kid or employee is at any given time. Okay, so you mentioned parents, um, so I'm going to ask you one last question. And what are the advantages for parents who worry about their kids using the internet, say at the local Starbucks or, or in short, not at home on someone else's Wi-Fi? So this is one of the main uh, additions that Endpoint Secure brings to the table. It allows to, to enforce policies and controls wherever the user is, even if they are at the local Starbucks or somewhere else. Block requests, such as the key trying to access a blocked website category, uh, let's say pornography, uh, will also be reported uh, so that the parent can be aware of it through email, SMS, or at a later stage from the customer portal reporting section that can be offered by the by the service provider. Once again, the, these controls are also relevant for SMBs since the device provided to, to employees are commonly owned by the SMBs, so they can they can block any unproductive content, any unproductive internet content, right? So protect the device from threats as well that might happen to, to, to try and gather company data on the device and even see, and I think this is a good example, uh, for those uh, SMBs that have customer facing roles, they can even see if the employee is at the customer location. Got it. Excellent. Good stuff. Eduardo Algado, Senior Product Manager at Alot. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for listening. You can get more information about network intelligence and security solutions for service providers and enterprises on our website at alot.com. Subscribe to this podcast to make sure you hear about new trends and technologies on the next episode of A Lot On Air.